here's another survey problem with three groups. So we're going to draw our Venn diagram again so that we can answer questions regarding this survey. But having the diagram will be helpful for us. So we have three groups. One is the internet service, one is the phone service, and one is TV. So we'll write internet, phone, and the cable TV. Again, we're given a bunch of numbers, but these are all overlapping with one another. So we always start with the innermost intersection. There are 75 families who use all three, so we put 75 in the innermost intersection. And then we work outward from there to the other intersections. For instance, the intersection between internet and phone. We look through the word problem and find those who use the internet and the phone service. That's these 110 that are listed here at the end. So if there are 110 in this intersection, and we've already accounted for 75 of them, there must be a total of 35 remaining. Right, we take 110 minus 75 and get 35. Similarly, if we look at the intersection of telephone and TV, we see there are 140 families over here in the intersection on the right. There are 140 and we've already accounted for 75 of them, which means there must be 65 unaccounted for yet. Take the 140 minus 75. And then lastly, there are 220 families that use the internet and TV. So if there are 220 in this other intersection between internet and TV, we've already accounted for the 75 in the middle. We take 220 minus 75 and get 145. Now we can work out to the rest of the circles. And for instance, we're told that 470 use the internet service as a whole. We've already accounted for 145 plus 75. That's those 220 plus 35 for 255. And there are a total of 470. So that leaves 215 families that use the internet but not the other services. Similarly, with the phone service, there are 420, but we've accounted for those who use the phone and the internet, or the phone and the TV, which is a total of 65 plus 75 plus 35, or 175. If we take those 175 away from the 420 in the phone circle, then what we get is 245. So there are 245 up here. And then finally, those who use the TV, we're told there are 319. We've already accounted for the 145, the 75, and the 65, which is a total of 285. And if there are 319 in the TV circle, we've already accounted for 285 of them. Take 319 minus 285, and you get 34. So there are a total of 34 in that region down there. Finally, we know that there are a thousand people total, so we need to fill in how many were surveyed that do not fall into any of these circles. If you add all these up and subtract from a thousand, what you should get is 186. Now that the whole diagram is filled in, we're ready to answer some questions. So we can go to the questions now. The first question asks, how many households in this survey do not use any of these services? So that would be those who are outside all the circles. That's the 186. So we can answer 186 families in this survey didn't use any of them. Then part two asks, how many use exactly one of these services? In other words, how many people use one of them but not the other two? That would be these people who use internet but not phone or TV, and these who use the phone but not the internet or TV, and those who use the TV but not internet or phone. So that would be 215 plus 245 plus 34 for a total of 494. 
that's those who use exactly one of the services. Then, for how many use exactly two, that would be those who lie in the intersections between two of these, but not in the middle 75. So that would be the 145 plus 65 plus 35. And if we add those together, we get 245. So again, we can answer these questions that would be very difficult to answer just from the word problem. But by drawing a diagram, we have a systematic way of building up to these answers and being able to answer even other questions like this.